deepfakes are a threat, and now Microsoft is deepfaking code. Let's talk about this. If you're not familiar, GitHub Copilot is an AI extension for VS Code that interprets both plain text descriptions of what the code should do and prescriptive function names and then quote unquote generates code to fit that function. It's smart, context sensitive, it works with many different languages, and a ton of people have been celebrating the idea. But GitHub Copilot, just like any like modern or current AI system, has to actually use existing data to train the AI to suit its purpose. And since, you know, it's a GitHub product, it looks like they've used pretty much all the freely licensed code available on GitHub as uh, as a means to train their AI. And that has got some folks uh, questioning the legality and the ethics of such an endeavor. Firstly, does Copilot's use of copyrighted code on uh, GitHub conflict with the rights of the uh, copyright holder? I mean, keep in mind that free software is a license for you to use someone else's copyrighted work. So to put it another way, is Copilot committing copyright infringement? Does Microsoft need to obtain uh, licensing rights from anyone whose code was used uh, to train this AI? Now, one would think that the burden of intellectual property would fall on uh, this huge, this massive multinational conglomerate. But something tells me that Microsoft is going to try and argue uh, that use of free software like this uh, is, you know, fair game. It's fair use it should be allowed. But that leads to the second question. If Copilot's suggested code snippet is part of a free software uh project. Does that mean that all of Copilot's suggestions mean that the work they're included in is now licensed under, you know, a, a copyleft license? Does that mean that any of the code snippets generated by Copilot are therefore virally licensed under the same terms as the code actually was licensed under? I would think so, but but what happens if Copilot suggests two separate code snippets from two different projects and those two different projects are licensed under mutually exclusive terms. Their, their licenses are incompatible. This gets messy really fast. And, and I mean, it's one thing if code snippets are like four lines of code, uh, they might not be able to be protected under, you know, copyrightable uh, terms, even if these things are, are, are virtually indistinguishable from the, the source material. But what happens when uh, these suggestions from Copilot are are, are distinct and they have, can be traced back to a single original source. Or in other words, what happens when Copilot straight up plagiarizes? Congrats to David Sellis. You get a shout out if GitHub Copilot tries to generate an about me page. <laughs> and you can see here in the screenshot from uh, Kyle Peacock that, uh, yeah, looks like it's straight up ripping off David's personal website. Now, fact is, you know, you know, if David felt uh, the the prerogative, he could probably sue Microsoft. Uh, but the fact is, uh, GitHub's terms of service uh, might prevent that. I mean, while you still own the copyright to the material that you have uh, published on GitHub, even the private repositories, the terms of service of GitHub plainly state that you give GitHub the right to host your code and to use your code to improve their products and features. Copyright infringement be damned. Um, a few years ago, I wrote a license uh, for my content. All of my videos are licensed under this uh, license. And I wrote this license because I didn't want someone to come along and uh, to try and, you know, use the audio and the video from, from these productions to train neural networks. I didn't want uh, deep fakes to be produced from my videos. So I wrote the authorial integrity license. There's a link down below. <laughs> It basically grants end users the right to do whatever. They can remix, they can do whatever, as long as uh, they're not putting my content through neural networks. They're not training neural networks, AIs with my content. Except to do subtitles, because that's an important distinction. Cool, right? I mean, it is actually one of my most popular Git repositories to date. Deepfakes, I feel, are a threat to the integrity of the author. And... Um, it seems that at least a handful of people agree with me. Microsoft is now deep faking code. Straight up. It's a threat to my day job. And if you're a coder of any stripe, then it's a threat to yours as well. Is it time for a GPL4, which specifically prohibits the use of uh, neural networks to ingest this code and excrete the deep fake code? I don't know. 
let me know in the comments. I would really love to hear from you. I wanna give a special shout out to Glenn Steen, one of my top tier Singularity members over on Patreon. Without my patrons and my YouTube members, I would not be able to do this show. So thank you, I very much appreciate your support. If you believe in the work that I do and you wanna help support this show, head over to Patreon, maybe become a YouTube member. Uh, it all helps, it all directly supports the production of this show. If you haven't noticed, I actually hired a guy to do uh, editing for me. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job. Let him know how he's doing in the comments as well. I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It always helps us out here. But I think that's going to do it for now. Um, thank you for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now, and have a blessed day.